So within the company insurance form, you can see that we have included contacts as well as recent cases, and this is possible by using subgrids. So if we wanted to include a subgrid about claims within this form, uh, then we'll be able to see information from the claims entity within this form. So we can go to settings, customizations, and then customize the system. So opening this form, Okay, so once we have this form open, we can go to insert and then select subgrid. So this subgrid will be named claims and the label that will attach to the subgrid, which will be visible on the form, will also name claims. We'll make it visible on the form. So we are going to make all records visible and that is simply because we don't have any data currently that uh, naturally connects the claims to the companies, so instead um, all the records that are within the claims will be visible on the company form. So within the entity, we'll select our claims entity, and our default view will be active claims. So we'll also include a search box so um, we can easily find the exact claim that we're looking for uh, right from the form. And now we're ready to set the subgrid. So this is like a pretty good location. So now all we have to do is save the form and publish it so that the changes are visible. Subgrids are particularly helpful when we want to see information that is associated with a particular entity. So now we'll just go back to um, the form that we were working on. Okay, so we can now see our new subgrid here. Now, since we chose the filter of all record types, all the data within the claims will be visible here. If we chose the filter of related records, then only those records associated with the entity would be visible. So if we click on one of the claims, then the entire claims form will open so you can see all the information that is associated with the claim.